we're going to do now, we're going to prime up our uh, miniature here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to use Vallejo Surface Primer, but I'm going to do a bit of experimenting with this. Um, what we're going to do, give it a damn good shake because it does kind of separate and you get black bits and um, thinners and white bits and it, you know, you really give it a good shake so it all comes together. Right, the lid's normally quite hard to get off. And what we're going to do, we're going to pour in, um, you know, just a bit, right? Because I mean, it's only a little miniature, we're not going to need loads. Just wipe that off my thumb. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get some future, um, which I've um, decanted into this little bottle here, nice and easy to. Um, add to our colour cup. Now, um, normally you could spray um, this stuff neat. You could add 50-40% um, thinners to it. But for this, I'm going to experiment and I'm going to add the future, um, about a 50-50 mix. Okay, and then we're just going to give that a good mix if I just get my old faithful brush. So getting old faithful here, give it a good mix so it all comes together. Now the reason for this, well, you know, as I say, I'm experimenting. The logic behind it is you spray, spray this Vlasia Surface Primer on and you do have that problem of, um, you know, it peels rather than sands. Um, so to get around that, you, uh, you uh, leave it to dry for about 24 to 48 hours and then you should be able to sand it nicely or you spray a bit of future on top and it seems to have this sort of chemical reaction that um, allows you to get sanding straight away so I'm going to thin it with future and hopefully you know the future will give it that nice effect of being able to sand it and probably you know make it a bit more harder and nicer so just making sure that airbrush is flowing nicely which it is what we're going to do we need to start off with a nice light misty coat when it comes to using this Vallejo surface primer, right? It doesn't like to be um, caked on straight away. It seems to pull up quite quickly. Uh, we can also get <coughs> our helmet, and again, we give it a nice, light, misty coat. And we can put that down and move along to our other pieces as well. Nice, light, misty coat. So then coming back to our pilot, I'm just gonna to cut to air just to quickly dry it off. All right, because we've only put a misty coat on, so it shouldn't take too long to dry this off with a bit of air. And then this is where we can then come in and do a nice light coat, right? Light coat, not misty coat, All right? Because that first light misty coat is now giving this coat I'm putting on now, something to stick to and go on nicely. Now I'm looking at that and that probably is just gonna need one more coat and we're all primed up. So I'll go off, put another couple of coats on our head and stuff and one last coat on here uh, and that's all primed and then leave it to dry. We're going to now start off by spraying on our first base colours. Now spraying's nice, quick and easy rather than brushing. And um, what we're going to do, we're going to be using um, XF65 Field Grey uh, by Tamiya just to spray our main body up because that's going to be our main colour. So make sure you give it a good shake as I'm just doing and then try and get the lid off. Right, and then what we want to do, we want to get some, I'm going to be using um, homebrew thinners. There is a video um, on this on the Genesis Models website, and I've just put it in this, uh, well, basically I uh, got an old um, Vallejo um, bottle here, and I just, um, you know, mixed it up into one of them. You want to put your um, thinners in first, about a 50-50 mix. Again, we don't need much paint, we're only doing um, miniatures here. So 50-50 mix with our homebrew thinners um, in first, because uh, what it is, is 
if you put the paint in first the paint will go down to the needle end and that will be like the first thing you're spraying out and you don't want that because um, you know you, you can you, you know you start blocking up the needle straight away so first thing we want spraying out is a bit of thinners first then what we do we just pour in our um, XF 65 remember about a 50 50 mix you know we don't have to measure this out and get pipettes out and all this kind of stuff it's just about a 50 50 mix because what we're going to do now after mixing it with a paintbrush is we're going to check the flow we're going to check and see how it's flowing out so basically we do a nice bit of a spray and we see how that's coming all right so if it's not coming out right you know maybe it's a bit too thin a bit too thick you know we can add uh, more paint or we could add more thinners to how you feel all right so i'm just checking that and it seems to be good and then what we can do like we did with our um with our vallejo primer is we just want to put on just a nice quick misty coat just to start with just to get going. Right, nice quick misty coat. It's a dark colour, so it's going on pretty good, pretty good coverage. Right, and we can just dry this off, cut into air, which is just pushing down on the trigger, not pushing down and then pulling back because that gives you paint. So just drying that off, and now we can put on like a nice normal coat. Now also remember when spraying, uh, you know, it's like extractor fans on, windows on, face masks on, all those kind of things. Right, and with this, you want to make sure you get into all the, the nooks and crannies, right, under his arms, all these kind of places, just to make sure we get even coverage all over. Right. And as you can see, that is now all, you know, got its um, XF65 on, all good to go. Uh, we just need to leave that to dry. Um, now, next thing is up is like the helmet. Now, the helmet, um, we want to do white, right? Um, now, the re now, this is a good reason for, um, like, not gluing the head on because the thing is with white, you know, it's it's a hard colour to get good coverage of because it's always like you need loads and loads of coats and the thing is if we spray if we if we did put the head on and we sprayed it this XF65 and then let's just say we then masked off the body from the head and tried to spray white over XF65 this is a dark colour I mean we're going to be putting loads and loads of coats on so having it separate primed up it's going to be a lot easier um, so what we're going to do I'm just going to show you a quick color change now there is um, paint still in here quite a lot as you can see we hardly used any we've kind of wasted a bit there now if I'd used say Tamiya X20A to thin this down I probably would have just poured this back into the pot but because I used homebrew thinners which isn't um, this particular manufacturer of paints um, recommended thinners I'm just gonna have to pour it away because it's not good to um, have different thinners of different manufacturers being poured back into different manufacturers of paint it, it can settle and sit in there and it can gunk things up so I'm gonna throw that into the bin just off camera right and then I'm gonna show you a quick color change um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start off with our nice cheap homebrew thinners right because this stuff is really cheap for the first go and I've just poured some out in there and what I'm going to do I'm just straight away I'm just going to tip our colour cup upside down and I'm just going to get gravity to bring it down and sort of clean up what we can in there with the thinners right 
right take note I haven't um, sprayed it through the nozzle end because we could have had all sorts of bits going on here which you know if we cleaned it out and then sprayed it through the bits could have just gone through the needle end and then you know that's where it's gonna block up because what you've got to remember you we've got like a 0 0.4 millimeter needle in there you know so it's gonna block up with bits right now that's basically clean what I do is I like, I do recommend, I mean Vallejo airbrush cleaner is such a great airbrush cleaner, I love it. Um, as much as you can make your own, which I've I've kind of been playing around making my own, but I mean, you know, you just can't beat um, Vallejo airbrush cleaner really. And what we're going to do, we're going to pour that in there, and as you can see we've still got paint in there because it's turned green. So taking our kitchen paper towel, what we're going to do is we're just going to um, put it over our nozzle end, right? We're going to push down on the trigger giving us air and we're going to slowly pull back. And hopefully what you're seeing is the bubbles. And what that is doing is that is basically just nicely cleaning out the insides. You know, bubbles are good for kind of breaking things up, getting into places we can't get. I mean, we could get there, but then we'd have to take apart the uh, airbrush and everything. And we just want a quick color change. So the bubbles are doing a nice good job there. All right, and then again, we're gonna tip it up and let gravity bring it out to the colour cup end, not the nozzle end. Alright, just like so. And then what we want to do as well, we might want to take off the needle as well and sort of maybe clean that because I mean the needle can build up with all sorts of paint on there, dried up paint, so you know clean that up, put the, the guard back on. And then what you want to do is basically keep doing that until when you pour it in there it starts to look clean I mean it's still looking a bit green in there so it's still a bit dirty so we'll do some more bubble action and this should probably be the last time and then upside down again and clean right so now hopefully we should pour this in here and that is looking clean now as I've poured that in there, that's looking clean. So we're, we're looking, we're getting clean now. So now, now we can um, blast out through the needle end. Maybe give it a bit of a clean there. Blast out until you start to see that it comes out nice and clean, just nice and clear. So that has been, that is a nice quick color change, getting it all nicely cleaned up, ready for our next color which um, our next colour is going to be XF white and basically you do exactly the same when spraying the helmet you know do your 50-50 mix with um, your the homebrew thinners with XF2 into the colour cup and then we just spray that um, exactly the same as the way I've just shown you spraying FX65 and that is basically the main spraying we're going to do so the next bit is getting down and getting our paintbrushes out now we're going to get around to doing some paint brushing. Now when it comes to paint brushes, I mean you can buy all sorts of cheap paint brushes, but I really do prefer the Winsor & Newton Series 7 paint brushes. They're pure sable, handmade, um, and yes they are a bit on the expensive side, but when it comes around to brush painting, if you buy these, trust me, you will tell the difference. Uh, it will improve your brush painting work. Now when it comes to paints, um, I like to use Citadel's um, Games Workshop paints. They are a bit on the expensive side, but they really are good for um, brush painting. Whereas, I mean, normally in modeling, um, we're using like the Tamiya paints, the Vallejo paints, um, you know, extra acrylics, uh, model masters, all those kind of stuff. Um, they're good for spraying, but when it comes to paint brushing, as I say, I do like to use these. So I'm gonna try and use um, Citadel as much as I can, but with some color, um, like um, for example our khaki drab XF51 um, I'm going to be using Tamiya not I would rather not but I haven't found a good color from um, Citadel to kind of do that khaki drab color so give it a good shake um, as usual and um, the first thing we want to talk about I mean I want to paint this um, jacket on our pilot um, but 
what we want to talk about now is like um, thinning down the paint um, when, when, when brush painting, right? Because this here is a base paint. Now the base paints are for kind of getting your basically what it says on the tin that your base down I mean what we've done here we've we've um, got our just flat XF 65 and then we're gonna get this Citadel um, Steel Legion drab on here and it's just going to be flat we've got no highlights we've got no washes going on it's just the base colors right um, now this paints normally thicker so what we want to do we want to thin it down a bit um, now you when it comes to thinning it's sort of one of these things that um, you get the feel for it I mean the how you want to paint it how much capillary action you want or non capillary action how f much coverage you want or how thin you want it um, you know it's really something you need to practice around with but just kind of like the basics I mean what we have here in this little pot here is just some simple water and this is one way of just simply thinning it down is just plain and simply getting a bit of water and we could get a pipette actually and we could probably put just a couple of drops in one part of our little palette here and then we could get a bit of our paint let's bring you in closer right we could get a bit of our paint and then we just sort of mix the two together and you just want this nice consistency that you're happy with right so we want to basically um, you want to get um, um, you, you hold on you want to get the paint going down how you want it so you know you want coverage right but at the same time you don't want it to be too thick that you start getting um, brush strokes right because brush strokes don't look nice don't look neat right you kind of want it so it's you know fairly thin but you still want that coverage as well right at the moment this is potentially a little bit too thin so we can sort of, I'll just quickly mix that off camera to give us a bit more coverage. Right, and we just want to paint in this jacket all nice. Hopefully as you, you're just seeing there. And obviously, hopefully you can also see that, I mean, you know, as I say, because we're kind of... Um, we thin this down a bit the coverage isn't brilliant but we're not going to have any brush strokes okay um, so it is probably going to look like that we're going to have to come along and we're going to have to you know do a second coat on this maybe even a third depending on how you want to thin it down how thin you want it you know um, so that is basically what i'm going to do here for the jacket i'm going to paint all the jacket in right I'm then gonna go off and I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna use Abaddon black to paint my boots right um, but the uh, where is it like that the face mask I'm gonna where's it gone where's my head gone there it is the face mask and the um, and any kind of like kind of like face mask kind of stuff I'm gonna use rubber black XF 85 right nice color there not just a flat black in your face and then it's going to be as i say the the khaki drab xf 51 i'm going to use for a couple of um, seat belt straps and all those kind of things and then we can touch up with a bit of silver here and there and by the way i was using a treble zero paintbrush as well um, to do the actual painting uh, but it's whatever you're comfortable with um, this is the thing with brush with brush painting um, you know it's what you get used to um, I know some people um, they will use like um, a, a, a number one paintbrush to paint eyes um, I like to use like a, a, a quadruple zero or something to do eyes you know it's it's it is kind of down to your preference 
right? And, you know, some people, you know, as I say, they might want to have the paint thick so they can just paint it once at the sacrifice of it being maybe a little bit unneat when it comes to, um, you know, the, the things like brush strokes and stuff. So, you know, just kind of, well, I'll get this painted up off camera just to speed things up. And, um, and this is just the base coats we're putting down here. And then we'll get on to um, a bit more fancier stuff. Thank you. 